Let's get rolling with the show. The topic for today is vacationing for success. I don't know if you know this or not, but most uh, European countries have uh, adopted shorter work days and longer paid vacations. Uh, some time that uh, my wife and I spent over in European Europe, uh, we learned a lot about that, but we've also studied it quite a bit. Uh, actually, funny story uh, on, off the side, we actually had a, uh, an Italian man uh, compliment us the other day. He actually bought us drinks at a, a Mexican restaurant we were at. An Italian guy bought us drinks uh, just in the way that our, our kids were disciplined, I guess, uh, and the fact that we allowed them quite a bit of freedom. But when the food came, they sat down and ate. Uh, I guess I was kind of proud that someone saw that, but he was mentioning that it was kind of a European uh, openness to the way we, we took care of our kids. And, and I think to some degree, we do offer a lot of independence for our children, um, which is kind of a European idea. And the same thing goes for this vacationing. Uh, so in Europe, they have a lot more paid time off, uh, a lot more vacations. And despite this, they're actually more productive and generally happier than more productive in the time that they spend at work, studies have shown, and generally happier. Uh, if you've ever met European people, they're fairly carefree and, and uh, happy-go-lucky. That's not a coincidence, uh, and I'll ta- tell you exactly why it works here in just a moment. So, now, I know it's easy for you to get caught up in your work. Hopefully, you love your work. Hopefully, uh, you have the mindset that I always talk about, which is to be retired in practice if you're a chiropractor. If you're in a different, uh, I know I have a lot of viewers who are not chiropractors, uh, hopefully your work is something you enjoy going to do. Uh, but for those chiropractors, I talk about being retired in practice to a point where you're you're so happy about what you do that you feel like you're retired, but you still go in every day anyway. Uh, it doesn't matter how, how young or old you are, uh, getting that mindset where there's enough money set aside, the systems are in place, and you're able to just go in and take care of patients uh, and feel like you're retired. So hopefully you're there, and hopefully uh, your mindset when you get caught up in your work is that you love what you're doing. So don't get me wrong there, but sometimes, you know, you get working on a problem. Uh, You get working on a task that you want to accomplish in the work and, you know, minutes turn into hours and before you know it, the entire week's gone. You just kind of get swept up in that thing and you don't even think about it. You get into what you think is a work groove uh, and you kind of ride it until you're basically out of time. Uh, What you wanted to get accomplished isn't accomplished and the time you allotted for is, is not there. Now, again, This groove can be a good thing in short bursts, but over long periods, things start to break down. You get caught up in that work mode, hustling, grinding, uh, you begin to neglect your home life. Uh, You start to overwork certain centers in your brain, causing them to become much more, much less efficient. Uh, You know, they just start to churn uh, in that groove, again, that you put them in, uh, but they're not being efficient. They're not actually figuring out new, new solutions to the problems. Uh, or worse, you start to push yourself to the point of actually resenting your work. And again, I see this a lot traveling across the country. Chiropractors who love what they do, love taking care of patients, but they work so hard that they start to get burnt out. They start to resent going into the office. Uh, I've talked about it before with a, a doctor who's sitting there working on a problem on his computer and his staff tells him that a patient just walked in. And he's like, oh, another patient. I've got to go take care of that because they're so caught up in the work. Um, so again, one of my Cairo launch triggers and something I like to say a lot is, is quit trying harder. Everybody knows that they need to take breaks, but how often do you really allow yourself to have one? Uh, and again, in the chiropractic world, it's less than it is everywhere else. Obviously people that have jobs and have paid vacations, they take those vacations. Uh, as a business owner or as a chiropractor, it's very hard for you to get away from that work, that thing that produces your income. So now not only do you have to pay for your vacation, but you have to, um, you lose that income as well. But I would tell you that that it's actually more efficient. You'll actually gain income by doing that. So here on Labor Day is a good chance for you to practice. Uh, It's why we're doing it today. You need to remember to take the time to refresh your your mindset. Uh, And again, today being Labor Day, maybe not go into the office and and do some notes. Maybe just spend some time with the family. Maybe set your phone down. Uh, Get away from the computer uh, and just enjoy the day. See how you come back tomorrow. Um, I would like for you to take a real vacation, but Labor Day is a good chance to practice if you're not taking them at all. So just spend some time with your family. Just relax your mind. You know as well as anybody that when you leave your problems, uh, when you step away from them, that solution starts to come to you. And that's why vacations are so important and why it does help people get so successful. So today, again, Labor Day, great chance to take that uh, opportunity. Just let everything go. Stop thinking about the things that are bothering you at work. Uh, And I bet you tomorrow morning when you get up, you'll have the solution that you're looking for. So you're not doing yourself any favors by beating your head against the wall for every task that comes across your to-do list. Uh, And this isn't just some, you know, fortune cookie wisdom. 
taking regular vacations is, is actually scientifically proven to improve your productivity uh, and your problem solving abilities. Cheers. Studies have shown that uh, an increase in leisure time can actually help develop a higher level of your satisfaction in life. And what have I been talking about all season long is looking for your happiness. Um, so this time off uh, allows you to feel that, to have better satisfaction, go back to your work and actually be more productive at work. Taking time off leads to a general decrease in your negative emotions. Uh, getting rid of all those things. So again, put your phone down. I know I have mine in my hand right now, but uh, I am doing a little bit of work this morning. But I feel very retired in practice. This uh, doesn't seem like work to me. This is something I do to come chat with you every day. Um, so taking some more time off also leads to an increase in your brain efficiency and your problem solving acuity. Uh, one research study known as the Framingham Heart Study also found that skipping, uh, that skipping time off by not taking vacations can have dire physical health consequences, not simply psychological, uh, but it also increased your risk for heart attack and other life-threatening con uh, conditions. So take a vacation where you can quite literally be, be positioning yourself closer to death. So think of, your drain like, think of your brain like a drainage pipe. When you're feeling refreshed, that drainage pipe is clear and everything you put into your brain kind of passes through quickly and efficiently and kind of comes out with an answer. Over time though, the more, you, more stuff you shove down a pipe causes buildup that makes drainage more and more difficult, right? And then one day you find yourself running out to the store to buy some Drano to pour, you know, through out and clear out that muck. Vacations are like Drano for your brain. The day-to-day -day issues build up that figurative muck in your brain. Uh, your, your, your brain starts to slow down because it's processing the same thing over and over again and it's, not, it's getting less efficient at doing so. Uh, over time, you're completely unproductive despite constantly working. I mean, you feel like you're hustling, you feel like you're grinding, grinding, you can't figure out why you can't grow or expand. Uh, you're doing the same thing over, over again. You're, you're like the fly that I was talking about, just banging your head against that window and you can't seem to make any progress. Uh, and if you were just to take a break, to refresh your mindset, to take a step back, uh, again, not more than just a step in this case, but actually a day, two days, a week, uh, to allow your brain just to relax and, and start to figure out some things on its own, it'll allow you to gain some new perspective. And when you come back refreshed from your time off, even problems you thought were difficult or impossible uh, before will feel easier and the solutions will, feel, will seem more obvious. So I, I get asked a lot, it's like, when should I take a vacation? Uh, you know, I, I see these doctors or business people that are so caught up in things, they're so stressed and their, their brains aren't functioning properly. They can't see the forest through the trees. Uh, you know, I, I come in and, and offer a simple solution like, oh, I can't believe I didn't think of that. Well, the reason I didn't think about it is because they've been grinding for so long. So when should you take a vacation? A lot of people say, well, when I get to that level, when I get to that stress point, I'll take a vacation. And well, you know, uh, I would tell them to back up a little bit. Uh, we need to figure out when, when you're just starting to decrease in your productivity. So if your productivity after vacation is at an all-time high and it continues to get better and better, when it starts to slope down uh, is when you should take a vacation, not when you hit rock bottom, not when you bottom out and you need that vacation. You should plan a vacation well before that. Uh, I think there's something psychological, psychological as well to having a vacation planned to allow that hustle, to see that light at the end of the tunnel, to allow you to grind, uh, to allow you to be efficient and move and, and get a lot done knowing that a vacation is coming up. I don't know about you, but I know that uh, the day before I take a vacation, one of the most efficient, one productive days that I have, so I'm trying to get everything done before I go. So having that deadline for getting your work done and then just leaving it behind and going to take a vacation, they should be planned out. Uh, every quarter, maybe every six weeks a short one, every quarter a longer one, uh, twice a year long. So, but they should be planned and you should always have a next one planned uh, in, my, in my opinion, because again, it helps you psychologically. Now the common counter argument, uh, especially coming for chiropractors, is that you just don't have time. But I'm not how you, sure how you can listen to everything I just said, all those facts that I just mentioned and still try to make that argument. Uh, if you're gonna be more productive, if, you're gonna, if you wanna be smarter, happier, more physically healthy, then you can't afford not to have the time. Taking vacations will make your life better and it will make your work more successful in the long run. And again, I know as a business owner, you feel like if you miss those that income, but if you come back and make, you'll actually make more income in a shorter period of time uh, if you're better rested. I want you to sit back and relax today knowing that you're doing the right thing for yourself and your future by taking a day off today. Also, another thing that you might wanna consider uh, on this Labor Day is go schedule that vacation that you've always wanted to take. Realize that it will help you to grow. 
realize that putting something on the calendar six weeks from now, eight weeks from now, uh, will allow you to get through these next six to eight weeks of grinding, knowing that you have something to look forward to. And when you come back from that, you'll actually be more productive and you'll make up the income that you might have lost during that vacation.